Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. Now, this word is for this season that we have entered into, especially for this month of October and moving forward. Things are not what they seem. That is what the Lord is saying. Before we continue with this word, let us have a word of prayer. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another day, another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. I pray, Lord, that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement. It's going to be a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you sing in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This word is from an incident that happened last week yeah it was the 30th of september you see there is a cause that i'm pursuing and last friday the 30th of september the dean of the school called me to her office and she asked me why my name has not been submitted to the list of the graduates the graduation is going to be the end of this month and I told her that there are still several units that I needed to cover first. I was not I was not done with the course yet. So she brought out the roadmap. I don't know what you call it. We call it a roadmap. That uh, sheet of paper which has uh, the units that needs to be done in a particular course. And once you're done with the exam, the unit and the exam you take it out as you move on so we call it a roadmap and she started asking me which units i had completed and as we were going through the list and she was taking them out and then there were several units which were left the ones which i still needed to do and then she's she took another sheet of paper and then she started striking out some of those units that I thought that I still needed to do. And she said to me, since I had already covered those units in a previous course, I was not going to do them again. I didn't need to do them again. It was already factored for. And I thought... You see, according to me, I thought I had maybe like six months or more to complete the course. But apparently, I was already done with the course and I was not even aware of it. And as I was walking out of our office, I heard the Lord say things are not what they seem. And Second Corinthians 4.18 dropped in my mind immediately and this is what it says while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal last year the lord enabled me to crush a cause in nine months flood and this year he has done the same for me a cause that was supposed to take me like two to two and a half years, the Lord has enabled me to complete that course in a year. And this is what the Lord is saying. What you have been looking at in the natural is not what is. What is happening in the spirit is different from what you have been perceiving in the natural there is an acceleration of time that is going on in your life there are things that the lord has already speeded up in your life that you're not even aware of some of you have been looking at the lies of the enemy the deception and the error that the enemy has presented before you but things are not what they seem your breakthrough has already happened and the enemy has been hiding it from you in plain sight. There are things that the Lord has already accomplished in your life. There are things that God has already accelerated in your life. And the enemy has been hiding it from you in plain sight. There are things that God has already done for you that, that you are not that you have not been seeing. 
there is an abundance that has already been released in your life. There are blessings that has already been released in your destiny. And the Lord is going to open your eyes and your ears of understanding, especially in this month of October. So many of you are going to be shocked with what the Lord is going to reveal to you, with what the Lord is going to show you. You're going to be shocked at what the Lord has already done in your life. There are things that you have been waiting on God for. There are things that you thought was going to take months, was going to take years. And you're going to be surprised that the Lord had already accomplished it for you. There are things that God has already done in your life and it has happened supernaturally and you're not even aware of. And the Lord is going to reveal these things to you in this month of October. Some of you. You have not been seeing yourself for who you really are. The enemy had hindered you from seeing yourself for who you really are. And the Lord is going to reveal. Is going to reveal you to yourself. You see, Gideon despised himself as being the least in his father's house. He despised himself. Because he came from the least of the tribes. His perception of himself was from what he was seeing, from what was visible to him. But God was seeing a great warrior who was going to destroy the idols of his father's house and was going to change the trajectory of his bloodline. David was just a shepherd boy. His own father could not see the greatness that was in him. Prophet Samuel almost missed it. He thought that one of the brothers was the one that he was going to anoint. But God was seeing a great king in David. God was seeing a great worshiper. He was seeing a man after his own heart. There are things in your life that is not visible to you and god is going to open your eyes to see that things are not what they seem listen things are usually not what they seem what you have been seeing what you have been thinking is not what is there is another side to read there is another dimension to read there is another perspective to read this month God is going to open the eyes of so many of you. He's, he's going to open your eyes and your ears of understanding. And you're going to realize that you are already on another level. You are operating in another dimension. You are working out the promise. The matter has already been settled. The things that you have been believing God for. The things that you have been praying for. God is going to open your eyes to see that it is already done. He already did it for you. You see, the Lord walked me through scripture to show me how the devil can distort things. So that what we are seeing is not real. What you are seeing is not what it, it is important to see what God is seeing. There is this Samaritan woman who was despised by the society. She was seen as an adulterer, a fornicator. She was seen as a cheater, a husband's nurturer. Probably she was perceived as a home wrecker. But God, God was seeing a great evangelist that was going to bring that city that was going to transform the city. That was going to draw the city to him. And you know the interesting thing is that Jesus never prayed for her. Jesus never laid his hands on her. He never even prophesied to her. Just an encounter with the Lord. Revealed her identity to her. And completely transformed her. 
and but that which was always in her that was not visible that was not seen there is this blind man that the lord touched and when the lord touched him he started seeing men as trees his vision was distorted it was blurry and the lord had to touch him a second time and when the Lord touched him a second time, he was able to see clearly that which the Lord wanted him to see. Some of you, you already received a touch from the Lord, but your vision was still distorted. Your vision was still blurry because of all the warfare, because of the battles that you have, go, you have been going through, because of the lies and the deception of the enemy that was presented to you. And you're going to receive a second touch from the Lord. You need a second touch from the Lord. And that which appeared distorted in your life and out of alignment is going to line up perfectly with with what the lord has done in your life one of the greatest tragedy that can happen in the life of a believer is to fail to discern their day of visitation is to fail to discern your season of lifting what your eyes are looking at that situation that circumstance that you've been dealing with is not what is it is a lie. It may be a fact, but it doesn't mean that it is the truth. God is the truth. His word is your truth. The word of God is the only absolute truth that there is. See with your eyes and your ears of understanding. You have the Holy Spirit who is your helper, who is your teacher. He is the one who searches the deep things of the Father and reveals it to us. And he's going to reveal to you. He's going to reveal to you what the Lord has already done in your life. It is already done. It is only that you have not been seeing it. You have been seeing it one way. But the Lord is going to show you another way. That situation, you're going to see it from a different perspective. The servant of Elisha was seeing a great army of Philistines surrounding the city. But Elisha was seeing the mountains full of horses and chariots of fire from the Lord. While the servant of Elisha was seeing defeat, Elisha was seeing victory from the Lord of hosts. Elisha was seeing victory. Your victory has already happened. You already have victory from the Lord. You are going to see things from the perspective of God. When God opens your eyes of understanding, you're going to see what he has already done for you. Jesus was accused of being a friend of sinners because he was always very compassionate to sinners, to but to the religious people, he was always so harsh. There was a time he called them vipers. He called them whitewashed tombs. And you know why? He was seeing what man was not discerning. The Lord is giving you spiritual insight to see the breakthrough that has already happened, that he has already released in your life. Things have been accelerated in the spirit. He has accelerated things in every area of your life. It is not what you think. It is not what you've been seeing. It is not what you've been looking at. Things are not what they seem. You are walking. You are operating on a different level. You are operating from a different dimension. Your breakthrough has already happened. Some of you had projects that you are working on. You had plans, long-term goals that you have been working on that you thought was going to take you years, that you thought that was going to take you months. But God has already done it for you supernaturally. It has already happened. And when the Lord opened your eyes to see, 
what has already happened. You're going to be shocked at how the Lord has worked it out for you. He has worked everything out for your good. Even those negative things that has been happening in, in your life. Those things that you thought that was going to bring you down. The Lord has turned it around and he has worked it out for your good. You have been accelerated to your destiny. And you're going to see it. And you're going to perceive it correctly. You're going to see yourself for who you really are. And you're going to see how the Lord has done it for you. And you're going to give him all the glory. I bless you so much. And I thank you. And I appreciate you. And I love you. But the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in Christ Jesus. May the Lord abundantly bless you.